You know, I, I figured I'm just going to work here while I'm wrapping this up because I'm doing podcast stuff. And I've never actually tied up and wrapped up podcast stuff while I'm actually doing the podcast. Uh, it's interesting. This week, I had a chance to talk with a guy from California. And he explained to me, this is, this is very fascinating. Trump has, and he's, he's from what they call North, NorCal. Like he, he's a Northern Californiaite or whatever they, I mean, you know, I mean, he's not from the, 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 the PRSC, you know, the, the People's Republic of Southern California. Although in the PRSC, it's abbreviated PRSK because they're so Russian in their thinking or a Soviet in their thinking that they spell California with a K, but that's a whole other topic altogether. In the, uh, ongoing, you know, Californian internal politics, whatever. Northern California can tend to be a little bit more conservative-ish, more Republican favoring thing. This guy explained to me, since the 80s, Trump has always just rubbed me the wrong way. I, I'm not making any excuses for anything. I'm just, I'm just making an an observation, an observation. I think that Californian culture and New York culture, not even values, just the way of talking, are so far removed from each other, literally on opposite coasts, that they rub each other the wrong way. I, I really wonder if it's a factor. So there we have it. The cause for the hang-up between... Uh, 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 Californians and Trump. No, I, I typically don't like to get political. I just, oh well, no, I didn't. I didn't put it in the thing over at the Symphony at the, at the Times. Uh, so I'm telling you this here. I, you know, this whole Starbucks. No, 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 no. I, I, again, I try to not get political in the podcast, but I just can't help it. I'm, I mentioned this a little bit. Other people are writing articles about this. But I'm going to try not to double over what I had coming from the, the, the editorials over at Symphony, <coughs> at Times.com. Starbucks training on this, it, it's, it's this, it's this, un, I, Quartz had a good article about this, actually. <coughs> They're usually leftist bias, but that's the thing. All the leftist, bl- 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 I, don't, I don't know what things are anymore. I mean, I... You know, professionals in the mainstream media act like bloggers, and sometimes people with simple little blogs do more professional journalism. So what's the difference between a reporter and a blogger anymore? And and I'm seeing bad, terrible English more and more and more. And another thing. (coughs) Sorry. I'm over here in Tropicalville, and the AC is blasting in my face, and this is really... (coughs) Um, I'm noticing a trend. I'm starting to see little news story articles that are sheer opinion. What China's doing is a really bad idea. You know, that type of stuff. Um, uh, the the Republicans should have voted for the Democrat bill. And since they didn't, it's going to backfire. Like that's the title of a news article. It's, it's getting flagrantly biased. It, 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 it's like, um, it, it's like using that, uh, what do they call it? Appeal to the rock. It's, it's, a uh, it, it's a logical fallacy. It's, it's something, it's, it's like if, if, if a lawyer does this in court, like the judge and everyone else, the other lawyer will call him out on it and say, you can't talk that way. That's, that's, that's not critical thinking. That's using, bad thinking to try to establish a court case. It's, it's appeal, oh no, appeal to the stone, not to the rock. It's the, the, the appeal to the rock. Yes, gentlemen. Welcome to appeal to the rock. If, no, the, it's appeal to the stone. And that's where someone says, well, that just doesn't make sense to me. And, and like, that's his reason why it's wrong. Like, that's it. You know, so someone says, well, we have reports uh, coming in from uh, verbal intelligence sources, releasing this information to the public that 
uh, certain uh, military uh, troops are amassing on uh, the border between uh, such and such a stand and such and such a stand, and uh, you know, and, and some guy at the at the pundit desk there, the, the the talking heads show, you know, he says, "Well, that just doesn't make sense to me," you know, and then that's all it, and that's it, and he's done. Like, dude, you're supposed to provide some sort of a reason or cite a source or you're supposed to provide some facts. You're, you're supposed to provide an argument for something, not just say, oh, it doesn't make sense to me. That's called appeal to the stone, or as I recently misspoke, an appeal to the rock. So let's go back to, and yes, for those of you in Reed Rapids, that is my Sean Connery impersonation. If, if we go back and look at a lot of these I mean, it's, it's pain, pain. Go, go, go to the, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even remember. I, I'm hesitant to say it. I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. You, you know what the mainstream, go, go to PacificDailyTimes.com, symphony.pacificdailytimes.com and look at the, the, the weekly news stacks and, and look at the main articles. I mean, I, a lot of stuff from uh, the Independent, the Express, the Guardian, uh, yeah, some Yahoo news stuff. L- look through the main type of stacks. I like Yahoo, by the way. They take AFP, AP, and Reuters reports, and they just put them over on their site. You, you could a lot of other places use those news sources, so you could just read most of the news just on Yahoo. And it's not really Yahoo News; it's more of an aggregator kind of. Not not a, not to be confused with an alligator. Something Mayor Richard J. Daly had trouble with. <clears throat> but if you go and, and, and look through the main types of... You look through enough of these news source pages where they've got like this list of other suggested articles in the co- side column. You're going to see appeal to the stone. Uh, ap- appeal to the rock. You're going to see that stuff. They're doing this and it's a bad idea. And, it's, it's, and, it, and these aren't... I mean, we're not talking about National Review or... Um, the um, the national interest. We're not talking about that stuff where, where there is going to be some expert opinion of some sort. We're talking about, I'm talking about normal news sources putting bias in their articles. It's like, what's going on? Anyhow, that aside, we've even got Gizmodo and, and normally would courts would be, normally would be left-leaning uh, blog, news, whatever, info sites, info hub sites. I wrote about that in my book, Pacifically Times of the Information Age, back in uh, 2015. We got info sites, info hubs taking over news and blogging. It's kind of just becoming an info hub. We're seeing the leftists complaining about the Starbucks training. The leftists, the, the, le- the guys on the left are complaining about the Starbucks training. Um... Not not OG leftists, like original gangster leftists. We're talking about just like typical blogger leftists. Like people who really think they just haven't thought much. And it, it, CNN is what they grew up with or whatever. Like, you know, but they're thinking with what they've got. Those leftist bloggers are, they don't like Starbucks. And I, I predicted kind of a swing around. We could be looking at, uh, at, at a Republican boost at the midterm, which is unusual, as I've said many times at the Times. So... I mean, that's just interesting. I'm just sharing with you a few things that I've thought of this week. And as a side note, I'm going to get to the... As a side note, I mean, yeah, the point is a side note. The most important lesson about people and problems is the obligation to do something helpful. Never attack and never become entangled yourself. If someone, in fact, has a well-earned reputation for broadcasting problems, be supportive Ward off any attackers because wicked people like to beat on the oppressed and encourage them with the insight bystanders naturally troubleshoot our problems when we divulge our problems publicly. If you have a real problem, ask for help. Some will be quick to provide the minimum you need, being their brother's keepers while preserving your dignity by carrying the equivalent of your own weight. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com.